Uh, good morning, folks. It's uh, Chet from Tag Along with Chet. It's uh, January the 1st. Beautiful day out here today. Beautiful day. Nice and calm. And I thought I'd take my first flight of 2023. Hope you're all recovering from your hangovers and whatnot. Uh, hope you had a good New Year's party. And uh, not feeling the blues or anything today. So uh, we're going to go out and get the old bird fired up out here after we do a preheat of the engine because uh, it is a little cool in the hangar but uh, we'll overcome that uh, with the uh, with our 70,000 BTU engine heater here that I use. Anyway uh, we'll uh, see you inside. So I've already got the cowling open ready to Put the heater on it and uh, as you can see it uh, outside right now or inside and outside it's uh, oh, I don't know just uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit I believe yeah 22 it's uh, about minus 8 centigrade and uh, as you can see it's uh, just uh, coming up to quarter to 10 in the morning okay I gotta just put the camera down so I can plug her in Well, I got her out here. I just about fell on my rear end pushing her or pulling her out, but uh, at least she's out here. So, doors closed. Okay, taxiways look good. A windsock, as you can see out there, is uh, just hanging there, which is nice. Let's climb aboard and uh, go flying. Clear. Ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft is ready for takeoff. Please ensure that all electronic devices are turned to a flight mode or switched off. Your seat belt is fastened, your seat is in the upright position, and your tray table is stowed. We wish you a pleasant flight.
folks, you probably noticed that on departure you didn't receive any audio. Now, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but uh, I uh, believe that it's to do with my new setup. I've got a uh, Olympus noise-canceling recording uh, gimmick. <laughs> And uh, for some reason, it's not picking up anything except way, way, way... Well, it's got a volume that uh, is almost uh, unreadable. And I've been trying everything to get the problem rectified. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll just do voiceovers here. And I'll keep the uh, light engine noise in the back because uh, it's, um, it's becoming a problem. I, I've had it up for a few times and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I, I, it may be just a loose wire. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is uh, we're uh, proceeding uh, westbound here and um, we're uh, going to go over the uh, Chain Lakes area, which is the uh, next valley over the ridge there, past the foothills, and just see uh, how much is going on out there as far as the uh, ice fishing is concerned. So uh, just bear with us here and uh, I'll, uh, the odd time I'll just pop in and do a voiceover and let you know where the heck we are. Just coming over the uh, town of Nanton, which is uh, just south of High River and uh, west of Vulcan. And also it's about 90 kilometers south of Calgary. Or about an hour's drive. And just uh, west of Nanson is where the foothills start and you'll notice that road there pretty well center of your screen there uh, that twists and turns and uh, heads its way westbound into uh, into the uh, next valley and that's where the uh, chain lakes are located Now, Chain Lakes is just off to your right, uh, and uh, it runs north-south up the valley. Uh, we're heading west right now, and uh, we will uh, make a right turn here and uh, proceed along the east side of the lake northbound, and we'll see how many ice huts are out in the lake. Now most of the ice huts are located just north of the dam. Now I guess I could go uh, quite a bit lower out here so you could actually see them, but there are quite a few out there. Uh, I don't normally like to go low over the lake. Uh, there are guys that come in there with their uh, uh, either their ski equipped aircraft or with the uh, larger tires. And I know there was someone down there that came in and I was talking to him. Uh, he was uh, actually had those 30 inch wheels on it and he landed on the ice uh, to uh, go ice fishing. 
So I, uh, I usually stay high in this area, uh, usually in around the 5,000, 6,000 foot area. Well, I did a few uh, circuits around the lake. And as you'll notice, uh, as we get closer and closer near the uh, south end of the lake out here, with the sun shining the way it was, you'll be able to see the uh, ice fishing shacks that are on the lake. and. Uh, most of them are on the east side of the lake. Uh, I've seen uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you'll notice as we get closer to the dam out there, you'll see quite a few more. And uh, I don't know, I lost count after uh, getting to about uh, 12. But I think there was uh, probably a lot more than that. Well, that's it for Chain Lakes, uh, so I decided to take sort of a roundabout way of getting back to uh, Vulcan. And uh, this roundabout way basically took me just north of uh, Claire's home, uh, where you've been with me before on various blogs. And uh, I believe there was a few ice huts on here as well. It's another reservoir, and it's fed by a bunch of uh, small streams that run off the mountains. Now looking at that, you'd think that was all open water with uh, little white waves on it, but uh, no, that's, uh, that's ice folks, real thick ice. Well, I created a new route from uh, present position. That's me just below Stavely there. And uh, just did a little bit of finger stuff here with the computer and poof, I had a new route right to my destination, which is Vulcan. And just like that, we're just south of uh, Vulcan Airport. That's the uh, dark area that you can see there. That's the town. 
and Vulcan Airport is uh, pretty well at your 12 o'clock position. We're going to make a uh, overhead arrival, left hand downwind for runway 34, and I guess we'll uh, call it a day. That was uh, probably one of the nicer days that I've ever had for flying. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for landing. Please ensure that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Your seat back and tray table are in the upright position. The armrest is down. Thank you. Three hundred. Two hundred. Minimums. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Well, I just let her roll towards the end because uh, the runways were still pretty slick out here. There's some ice patches underneath the uh, snow, so I just let her let her roll on without uh, doing uh, hardly any braking. And uh, just did a back taxi on 34 and took her back to the hangar. So thanks again for coming along, folks. I really enjoyed this trip, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.